and five, four, three, two, and one. And welcome everyone to this episode of the Real Leaders Podcast. Welcome Facebook, and we're live here from Southern California with the co-founder and CEO of Gifts for Good, Laura Hertz. Laura, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you doing today? Thanks for having me. Thanks for being on the show. It's great to be here. Um, Laura, we featured Gifts for Good in our magazine, and little did we know um, that we just hadn't even reached out to you, and we were kind of just driving in Southern California and said, we got to get a hold of Laura Hertz because she's doing big things. I'm happy you did. Thank you. So I think the people want to know, what is Gifts for Good and what's its mission? Yeah, um, so Gifts for Good is an e-commerce gifting website. You can find us at giftsforgood.com if you're in front of a computer. Um, And we sell all gifts that give back. So every product on our site has a different charitable cause behind it. But we work with over 50 different nonprofits and social enterprises around the world whose products we sell on our site. Um, We're focused specifically on adding social impact to the corporate gifting industry. So employee and client gifts, bringing lot more meaning to the typical tchotchkes and promotional items that you'll see a lot of companies giving out. That's amazing. You know, how, how'd you come up with an idea like this? Was there a specific problem that you noticed or where's this idea come yes, from? Yes, definitely. Um, I had spent about two years working with AmeriCorps. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with it, incredible national service program. Um, and I worked around the country for various different nonprofits. So rebuilt homes after Hurricane Katrina. I taught in the inner city schools here in LA. Um, did wildfire recovery work in San Diego. And um, I saw all of these incredible nonprofits around the two 2008 financial crisis and one of the things um, that was clearly an issue then is becoming sustainable and you know relying on things like donations and grants right. um, and I wanted to really find a way to help them to increase their impact and and reach a lot more people and become more sustainable so I went to um, go work with Deloitte and one of the things I noticed was getting all these corporate gifts and I got my notebook mm-hmm. and my water bottle and my new hire um, all that new hire swag in the workplace right. And one of the things that I really wanted to do was to help that to have more meaning and purpose behind it. So I actually um, started Gifts for Good out of business school at USC. And it was actually just a class project in the beginning. And I met my co-founder as a teammate in school. And uh, we looked at each other at the end of the semester and we said, hey, this is a pretty good idea. Um, Maybe we should work on it. So um, that's kind of where we were born and, and where we came out of. Well, let's let's take our, our viewers back a little bit to the to the main source of that problem. Mm-hmm. So you notice when you were at Deloitte, you were getting products, right? Yeah. So you're getting the little flippies, you're mm-hmm. getting the notebooks, yes. the uh, you know, you're not getting the cool hat like this that <laughs> no. I'm rocking today. Um, but I think what's the stat on how much money a corporation spends on corporate gifts? Yes, like a massive amount of money. It is a ninety billion dollar market wow. just here in the U.S. Um, so a lot of money is being spent on corporate gifts, mm-hmm. and over eighty five percent of businesses give gifts to their employees and clients in some regard. So there's a ton of money being spent there, and when you compare that to companies only giving charitable donations of eighteen billion, mm. but spending ninety billion dollars a year on gifts for their employees and clients our whole goal is to take that budget and put it towards good i love that i love that so let's let's break it down let's show an example so we got a water bottle right here right so if i'm working i, I worked at a corporation uh in phoenix and they had you know golf balls and nice you know jackets and right. polos and things like that exactly um but why would I want to use and, and have a gift like yours as a corporation? Yeah, as a company, um, not only are these awesome products, they're quality, they're things that people want to use, um, and they're also cool and different and unique in the corporate gifting space. Uh, you can add your logo like a typical promotional product, but these have a story behind them. So every product on our site comes with a story card that explains the social impact behind it. For this water bottle, for example, it helps to provide clean drinking water in developing countries around the world through charity water so it's great from a corporate social responsibility perspective and it's also great because you're really speaking to who employees are today and they're socially conscious a lot of them are millennials and they're looking for purpose in their workplace and they're looking to work for companies um, with a social mission so it's a really nice way to integrate that into something that a company is already doing day to day right well uh, you know if you substitute you're not spending more money right on the ability but you're just substituting the products that are made and just making an overall bigger impact in the world it's fascinating stuff and um, you know a big issue that we like to talk about is you know a lot of these nonprofits uh, when, when you donate to them or do something like that 
um, you know, a lot of the money might go towards marketing or employment mm-hmm. and only, you know, 30 cents of your dollar will go towards the actual cause. It's a little exactly. bit difficult. But what you're doing is you're helping out, um, you know, these, these struggling nonprofits and mm-hmm. giving them basically, you know, an option uh, to host their products on your site so corporations can purchase them and make a greater impact. Exactly. That's really cool stuff. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. We like to say that we're kind of a sales arm for all of these incredible cause-based um, nonprofits as well as social enterprises. So um, we really go out there and we get the word out to the corporate marketplace about their incredible missions and we're really helping uh, increase their reach and impact around the world. Now, could you tell me a story about one of your cards or one of your products yeah. and how it, it, it's impact and everything like that? Yeah, definitely. So um, here are some soaps and candles. I love these. Uh, we're airing right now from Los Angeles and these are actually handmade in downtown LA by women who are transitioning from homelessness. So um, this is really helping women to um, have a better life and a lot of our products have a similar mission and they'll come for example this one comes with a story card with one of the woman makers who makes the product on the back end um, they employ over 100 women full-time in their programs who are making products like soaps and candles mm-hmm. and they're in a nine-month employment program there and then really helping them to get a better life and job opportunities afterwards I mean, it's amazing. I mean, have you been able to really quantify your impact and really what you've been doing? I mean, clean water, um, you know, employment for Mm -hmm. women, female jobs. It's one of the hardest things about what we do. We have an incredible teammate, um, Janice Stieberding. She's our chief impact officer, and that is really her job. Um, She is incredible when it comes to social impact quantification. She was um, the first person that started Tom Shoes Global Giving Program and scaled it from 1 million to 50 million pairs of shoes around the world. She is an expert when it comes to social impact and social enterprise. Um, In every single product on our site, we do our best to quantify the impact behind it. So we know, for example, that this candle is providing 15 minutes of job training for individuals with disabilities. And we know that this cutting board right here provides an hour of job training for individuals transitioning from homelessness and poverty in downtown LA. So um, last year alone, um, we provided over 30,000 hours of employment for people in need. And we go down to the nitty gritty as well, knowing that you know each one of these provides five days of schooling for children in Honduras. So we really work to quantify the impact of the product level, which is extremely hard to do, and something that also really helps our nonprofits to um, be able to share their mission with the world. But I, I'm almost talking like for you yourself. Yeah. Like, have you been able to just sit down one day and just be like, I'm helping out a lot of people and a lot of problems? Like, it's, what goes it's through incredible. Your mind? Um, it's one of the best parts about what I do, especially, you know, coming from from a really typical corporate job, staring at an Excel spreadsheet for many hours a day in like a room a lot of the time as an auditor with no windows. Um, mm-hmm. And then coming here and really knowing that I'm making an impact every single day is one of the best parts about what we do. Um, right after we launched and kind of finished our first holiday season of gifting, our team was able to sit down and quantify the impact. And we knew that we helped over 25,000 people in 2018. And I mean, it just honestly, I like started crying and smiling because it's like, that's why I work so hard to create this business and to do what we do. And it's incredible to know that you can have an impact on so many people's lives. And that was going to be the next question I was going to ask you is when I try to explain or we, we try to explain our jobs <laughs> to people, it's it's just something it's it's so motive, it, it's, it's our passion. So yeah. we constantly work and it's all we really think about every single day. And mm-hmm. people just don't understand that. Um, could you kind of talk about the differences from working at you know a company like um, you know before mm-hmm. at, at Deloitte um, yeah. to, to now and kind of uh, what drives you and motivates you every day? Yeah, I mean it was definitely a really big transition. Mm-hmm. Um, I've always been someone where I'm very motivated by the impact that I want to have on the world, and so I kind of graduated from UC Berkeley and I went the typical route coming out of undergrad business school. I got mm-hmm. recruited into the Big Four, and everyone told me, "Hey, this is a perfect foundation for business." And yes, I learned a lot there and you work alongside a lot of talented colleagues, um, but I really wasn't finding purpose in my work and really seeing um, the outcome of what I was doing every day, especially when you're working in financial services and, you know, looking at an Excel spreadsheet for 12 hours a day. Um, It's a very different thing than what I'm doing now. And I wanted to really know the impact that I was creating on the world. And I think that's very much, you know, why I'm here is to share a mission and to to help people in need. 
Um, and I really came to Gifts for Good with that intention. And it's uh, it's definitely amazing. And it, it makes mm-hmm. me smile every morning because no, even though I work the same number of hours, definitely more actually than what I did before. I work all the time, but I'm happy about what right. I'm doing. And it's right. so awesome to know uh, the impact that you're creating every day. Yeah, you're, I mean, you're working for a higher purpose, really, yeah. you know, and have you ever do, uh, are there difficulties sometimes? Do you, you have struggles like of course. Do you have struggles like not thinking about like myself. Oh, I have to like really like get out of my zone to like not think about my job because mm-hmm. I like it so much. What oh, about yourself? Definitely. I mean, as an entrepreneur, it's, it's always hard to su- turn it such off. Such a bad right? thing to worry about. Yeah, right? like your brain's <laughs> always going, and um, that is definitely always a struggle. I think for any entrepreneur and any business leader, um, but it's something that. And, you know, I try my best to turn it off. I, I get out into nature and, you know, I try to be very active outside as much as I can. Um, and for me, that's a really great way to kind of reset myself. Um, and I think every entrepreneur has certain things that they do to try to reset themselves and kind of take a step mm-hmm. back on occasion. But, of course, um, it's always on your mind and you're always thinking, how can I, you know, do better with the business? How can I help more people? How can I build this better? Um, and it's always a constant work in progress. Well, hard work pays off. And obviously, you know, <laughs> you got a great setup here, mm-hmm. tons of products. Can you kind of tell our audience what is going on right now with Gifts for Good? Yeah, right now with Gifts for Good, um, we have over 250 products on our e-commerce website, giftsforgood.com. Um, we sell a variety of different types of products. So we have everything from water bottles to notebooks to cutting boards to handmade passport holders, you know, candles, socks, you name it. We have every kind of thing that companies can really be looking for, as well as personal and individual gifts. Um, we're definitely the premium end of gifting. So everything not only has a story, but it's fantastic quality. And that's super important to our entire team as we're curating mm-hmm. our product selection. And people really notice that right away when they come to our site. Like you have a beautiful handmade briefcase and you know that it's providing, you know, 15 days of schooling for a child in Honduras. Mm-hmm. And that's a really awesome part of it. And, and there, you know, let's, let's talk about the challenges now, mm-hmm. you know, uh, I'm thinking if I'm a corporation and I'm, you know, I'm, you're saying I don't have to spend the same, or I, I can send, spend the same amount of mm-hmm. money, but you know maybe with fair trade prices, obviously mm-hmm. they're fair, they're marked up a little bit higher, right. so maybe less products for my my employees. Right. Are these some of the challenge that challenges that you run into, or if not, what are the other ones? Yeah, I mean we definitely do run into a bit um, an issue with pricing. I mean just naturally the difference sure. between um, a candle that's mass produced in a factory and a candle that is hand poured by a woman refugee who just recently resettled in the U.S. and is being paid fair wages and living wages. Um, Everyone on our site is paid living wages and that is really built into the back end of the product. So of course, um, by nature, that it's always a little bit more expensive. Um, We don't typically have a big issue though selling into companies. I think it really resonates with our mission and I think they they understand that there is an added cost typically. And if they're really only price shopping, they're typically not the best partner for us. Um, We really partner with businesses Mm -hmm. where impact is important and it's central to what they do every day, and they're looking for easy ways to integrate um, social impact in their, into their day-to-day operations. Mm-hmm. And so the problem I have uh, is a lot of our viewers aren't aware even what a lot of these terms are that we're throwing around. Yeah. Could you explain to them what fair trade is? Um, yeah, I mean, fair trade is definitely um, part of what we do. Um, it is providing fair wages to you know people in need around the world, and they're living wages that are really helping to sustain um, themselves and their families. But we go really beyond that, and we work um, not only providing fair wages, but a lot of these are job training programs. So you know, we may be employing women transitioning from homelessness or human trafficking or domestic abuse. Um, these are some of these nonprofits have been around for 30 years doing incredible work um, and we're really partnering with them to um, enable uh, people in need in various different circumstances. Okay, okay, great. Just want to get that across yes, to the audience. Yes, I get it. <laughs> um, so when were you founded mm-hmm. and what is the vision going forward? Yeah, we were founded in 2016. 2016. Um, so, so three years ago. Yes, pretty pretty that? recently. We launched officially our e-commerce site in November of 2017. Mm-hmm. Um, and we were kind of working before that really just to establish our impact mm-hmm. partnerships. And it's been really exciting to see the growth that we've had in a short period of time. You know, we're already working with big companies like this water bottle for Google. And, you know, we worked with Facebook. We did all the holiday gifting for National Geographic. 
demographic. Um, we've worked with very big brands already to add social impact, and it's super exciting to see that in a short period of time, um, we really see a lot of businesses stepping up to the plate and resonating with the type of work that we're doing. Wonderful. Okay, so right now what I want to do is I kind of want to walk through these products, mm-hmm. and I want you to kind of uh, answer um, how you discover these companies mm-hmm. and why you select these certain products. Let's start off with this hat I'm wearing right now. Yep. What is what is this hat I've been rocking at the audience? Yes, this, um, so the this, smile this smile hat is from our partner, The Smile Life. Um, it's really incredible because for each one that you buy, it's actually providing a toothbrush and toothpaste to homeless youth. Um, right here actually in Los Angeles really? through a nonprofit safe place for youth. So wow. you really see a tangible impact between actually having a smile on your head and someone's actually a smile. I love it. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm taking this hat, by the way. Yeah, good. Do it. Just, just to let you know. <laughs> I'm like, it makes people smile. I wear it on my hikes on the weekends and people love it. <laughs> awesome. So, okay. So how do you discover these companies? Yeah. What's like, is there a vetting process or what do you do? There's a big vetting process and um, that's always a part of the work that we're doing every mm-hmm. single day. We really focus um, on quality, but of course the social impact is so important. We have um, really personal relationships with every single um, nonprofit and social enterprise whose products we carry on our site you know we visited them in person we've been on the ground seeing their operations um, wow. and a lot of these are nonprofits that may have been around in Denver or Alabama for the last you know 10 20 30 years but really no one outside of that community knows about them so um, for example uh, this is a piece of pottery this is a California state ornament um, and it's actually handmade by women coming out of human trafficking and domestic abuse in Alabama and they hand make all of these and they hand press them with lace um, this is an organization where maybe only locally people know about them. And we've gone out okay. and we, we've selected them because they have awesome products and beautiful vision. And we're helping to get the word out. Um, and we work with various different types of organizations. But quality is, of course, important. And when you're working in the B2B space, you need to be able to add a logo um, and really make sure that you can incorporate a company's branding. So, for example, we have a candle here. And this is an example with our logo on it with Gifts for Good. But you could add Amazon. Amazon or um, Facebook on there as well. Amazing. That's, that's such a cool idea, you know, and the fact that it's it's two and a half years old and that you're going this far. I think you just mentioned to me earlier before the show, you're moving out of the office soon. We are. I mean, there's big things that are going on. I mean, what does this mean for you, you know, for obviously you went to Berkeley, now USC. I mean, it's so much work, you know, to mm-hmm. really put in. You know, what does that mean for you that's really, like, paying off now? Yeah, I mean, it's incredible to see it pay off, but really, you know, it's not – I'm not here for me personally. I'm here to help all of these right. incredible causes and organizations. And I think what's been the most incredible part is seeing how we've enabled these companies to grow over the last two years and to reach so many more people. So um, we know, actually, that we were able to create 11 and a half full-time jobs for people last year, which is incredible. We were able to create over three and a half full-time jobs on the ground in Haiti for people. So just knowing the impact that we can have um, just by partnering with these companies and, you know, whether it's locally or domestically um, or internationally, we're really impacting people around the world. So it's been so exciting to see it grow and um, just to see, too, how many people resonate with our mission is incredible when we get the messages from people who are just super inspired after getting a gift from us and say it's the best gift they've ever received. Um, There's really nothing better than that. Yeah, have you found more people want to work with you because of your mission? 100%. Um, it definitely, I mean, people are human at the end of the day. Right. Um, I'm very much under the belief that everyone um, is a nice person and they want to help other people. So when people in the business space really learn about what we're doing and they already have a budget for employee and client gifting, they typically look at me and they're like, yeah, why, why wouldn't we shift our budget from what we're already spending to working with you? That just makes it's logical no-brain. sense. Yeah, interesting. So, okay, so amazing progress in in such a short time. Mm -hmm. Um, What is your advice for the next generation of leaders and entrepreneurs coming into the workforce? Yeah, uh, so many pieces of advice and things that I would offer. Um, I definitely am very passionate about what I do, and I think that is so important um, as the next generation of leaders and entrepreneurs to focus on something that you are very passionate about um, and that really drives you day to day. Um, When you get to wake up and be excited about what you're doing every day, there's really nothing better in the world. Um, 
I also think so many people go out there with the intention of starting their own company, but it's hard, it's difficult, and I can say that firsthand. And I think a lot of people um, can look at their own workplace as well and find ways to do um, entrepreneurship. So to innovate, really, what is your company doing today? Mm -hmm. um, and find ways to innovate you know, their current operations and integrate maybe something that you're passionate about into the workplace that you already work in. So you know, whether it's something like Gifts for Good, where you're able to integrate social impact into your budget for trade shows um, and conferences, or whether you want to find a way to get your employees more engaged through like corporate experiences that give back whatever it is um, and whatever really drives you. I think there's always a way to look at your current company that you're at and figure out how can you bring something that you're passionate about into what they're doing already. I think that's great advice. Entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because it's, I think, I feel like what doesn't get talked about enough is the struggle for entrepreneurs. 100%, yes. Um, <laughs> and and I, I don't want to, you know, go, just go over that. I really enjoy if you could kind of share with our audience, you know, they see all the products, they see all the glamour, they see how happy you are. Yep. But really, you know, can you kind of explain to our audience what the struggle is like over these past two yeah, years? Yeah, I mean, it's so difficult. I think sometimes it's like glamorized to be an entrepreneur, especially right. today. And people um, all want to go out there and they're super excited to start their own company. And while you may outwardly be sharing really a lot of the positives, just like typical social media today, you see everyone's positive side of their business. But right. what people don't see, my friends and family, they're like, hey, you're doing so good. Looks like Gifts for Good is doing great. Yeah, we are, but it's hard and it's hard work every single day. Right. Um, and I think one of the things I didn't appreciate when I started the business was um, really how important it is um, to have a positive mindset and also to just believe in yourself wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. You can't doubt yourself as an entrepreneur. And in the beginning, there's definitely a lot of struggle internally. And one of the things people don't talk about is they talk about all the resources you need and your team members you need. But really what I think a lot of people need is like a human accelerator, especially as a leader, mm -hmm. um, and really just focusing on yourself. So, so many entrepreneurs get burned out. They work really, really long hours. Um, they, you know, are just exhausted at the end of the day and they don't invest in themselves enough. And I definitely did that at the beginning and I struggled with not sleeping enough. I, you know, wasn't eating right. I wasn't working out enough and mm -hmm. I wasn't taking off time. And that definitely um, needs to be talked about more because totally. I think just the internal mindset of an entrepreneur is one of the hardest things that you have to deal with. And I think that's not just being an entrepreneur, it's just being a person. Um, you just need to definitely Definitely take the time to invest in yourself, and when you don't, um, you know, it can be a problem, especially as a leader. No, that's real. That's real advice mm -hmm. right there. And you just touched on some leadership too, and mm -hmm. so I want to bring this thing full circle. Mm -hmm. And you know, you mentioned a lot of companies are willing to work with you because of your mission. Um, you know, setting the example and, mm -hmm. and doing stuff that's right, um, not only for just profit, but for other companies and, right. and you know, sustainable development goals around the world. Um, what would you say your definition of a real leader is? Um, oh, hard question. I mean, definition of a real leader to me is just being um, a real person and someone that, you know, guides people in a way that is human. Um, I'm really just about bringing humanity back to anything that you do um, in the real world. And I think as being a leader, you really need to touch on focusing on people and um, making sure that you're really focusing on them and themselves and their internal development. And um, I definitely think that's really, really important for leaders um, just to be a person and to connect with everyone that they work with on a personal basis and that's very very important you know with anyone that you work with and then with anyone that you do business with I think I like that a lot I like that a lot it's a good answer well Laura thanks so much uh, for your time coming on the show today um, any last words about where people can find more information about these products? Yeah, um, you can find all of our products on giftsforgood.com and you can follow us on social media at giftsforgoodhq, like headquarters. Um, and if you like our Facebook page, we will plant a tree and we have Earth Day coming up on April 22nd. So I hope everyone will join us in planting some trees around the world. Earth Day, folks, yeah. coming up soon. Yeah. You heard it here first. Uh, for Laura Hertz, I'm Kevin Edwards telling you all to go out there, be a leader, invest in your employees in their internal state, and always, folks, keep it real. Bye, guys. <laughs>